Yo, what's good, Griffin13 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for Forzathon number 69, Time to Race, Celebrate the Speed of Xbox. Now, before most of you guys click off, because honestly, that's usually what happens around about a minute 30, everybody clicks off the video. So, what I wanted to say really, really quickly is this, is that we're going to be changing up the format of Forzathon and post Forzathon and everything else regarding Forzathon, and I want to explain it really quickly. I might do a separate video on this just so that everybody will be able to see it. But basically, we're going to start ending live streaming it because I just don't have the internet to keep up with it. All right, it's just, if it's very much that plain and simple. I mean, we were having trouble live streaming directly from our Xbox to Twitch. I thought maybe having a capture card and all that sort of stuff, we could do it better on YouTube, and YouTube seems to be worse. So. I figured, well, I better just go ahead, stop the live streaming until I can get some kind of better internet or something else going on, but we're still going to be doing these, and I still want to keep it as an open party system. I want to make it so that people are still able to come in and join the party and have a good time, because that's really what I really want these things to be, is I want this to be the opportunity that, that I can talk with you guys, and if you guys see me online, and in a party or anything like that, and you have me added up on Xbox Live, feel free to join. I really do like talking to you guys. There are some people, uh, I, I mean, occasionally I do got to hand out uh, mutes. Sometimes I got to block some people, and that's just because they start getting a little too rowdy. They start either, or maybe they come in there and they start cursing and they start yelling and start doing other things. No, I curse and yell, but I mean, it gets like excessive, or they start interrupting and they're talking too much. Because, like, I know, for the most part, I really like having that open party system, but there are flaws to it, because some people come in and they'll over-talk on everything, and then it gets really complicated, and I want to keep it, like, you know, to have it a, a good discussion, but I don't want it to be basically like, hey, I'm, I'm talking about it, and there's four or five different side conversations going on, and I'm sitting here because it happened earlier today, and I was just getting so frustrated with it, I'm just like, all right, we got to mute this guy, and they ended up leaving. So, because I muted the guy, and he ended up leaving in the Forza Motorsport 7 Forza Thon, I think it was, and he, was, he just started talking because he unmuted me. And it's like, why did you come into my party and then mute the person who's trying to do this? And I'm like, dude, you need to, no offense, but you need to shut up for just a second because we're trying to do this video, and you're not letting me speak. And he's like, because he had muted me. Because you didn't want to hear me making a video, and it's like, okay, that kind of sucks. If you guys are going to bring your friends, make sure they know what they're getting into. Because th this this is a live stream, it's fun, it, it's a dandy time. It's a dandy time, and we're just trying to have some fun. I mean, earlier today, I was getting frustrated in Forza 7 last night because the Forza Thon wasn't working. And then I was getting frustrated earlier today because basically, all kinds of hacks were happening in this game, in Forza Horizon 3, because <laughs> I tried live streaming this earlier, and there's the victory podium one, which is win a race in the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon to receive 90,000 credits, right? And somehow, some way, Don Juan Song set an impossible time. He had a record lap of 109, right? So you would assume that if he set a record time of 109, no dirty laps or anything like that, that the time would be 327. Somehow, though, his time was 325. Literally, Xbox did, or Forza did something purposely to make him win. Like, I, my best lap was five seconds lower than his best. And I still came in second place because we had moved it down to average because there were all kinds of hacks going on. And I'm like, okay, we got to make it easy for us to actually win. Somebody's just invited me into a party for Forza Horizon 3. No. Not right now, man. Not right now. We're going to be recording our Forzathon because I was getting so frustrated. I said some things I regret. And so I wanted to go back in here, do it all over again, even though we really can't technically do those. We're damn well going to try, though. We are going to redo a championship in the Extreme Track Toy, which the Speed Skills one, we're just going to sort of leave it because I actually got it while I was doing the championship. So we're going to be like, okay. We're not going to worry about that one too much. And then we're going to go back and we're going to start doing the other things. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in to Forzathon number 69, dudes. First of all, we have is we have Champions Wanted, which I have completed. Complete a championship in an extreme track toy to win the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon, which, to be honest, ain't that great of a prize because it's one of the few cars that's not really worth anything. It's just sort of like out there. It's like, oh, hey, here's a unicorn car that no one really actually wants. Like, the race cars in Horizon 3 ain't worth a damn. Like, I mean, I don't even understand this. The Xbox racing car and the Bentley racing car, you know, the two that we can get as unicorns, are super cheap on the auction house. <laughs> like, I mean, they're super cheap. I didn't even bother selling mine because I knew I wasn't going to get any money for it. And I already got $154 million. The most I was going to get was like $200,000. So I'm like, ah, no, I'm not even going to bother with it. But next up, what we have is we have Victory Podium win a race in the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon to receive 90,000 credits. Now, this is the one that was really getting me angry. I did this race like two or three times, and I could not win it. I put it on unbeatable for the first two, and, you know, I was getting, like, crappy positions. I'm like, oh, why? And I was just getting bullied, bullied and bullied and bullied by things. Like, there was, like, a BMW X5. That thing was a monster. It was kept on coming at me. I'm just like, I'm done. I am done, man. I'm done. And as well, <laughs> this is a very interesting Forza line because unless you've done it before in one of the Ford Falcon, you have to do the first one before you can do the second one. So that's pretty interesting. Next up we have, though, is we have Enhanced get three stars on the Surface Bridge Speed Trap in the Aerial Atom 500 V8 to win three wheel spins. Then finally, what we got is we got Going Fast, perform 20 speed skills to earn 35,000 experience. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Now, what I'm thinking is we got to go ahead, take a look at our extreme track toys because all the championships that I still got to do are all, they're all like off-road races. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and see if we have a car that has the potential to be an off-roader in extreme track toys and we'll set it to be like an extreme track toys race. Because we got the Hoonicorn possibility. We've got the Porsche. We do have the Hot Wheels Mustang. That would be a very interesting one to see. We got the Jaguar Ed-Type Project 7, which that one is showing its merit off-road. What else we got? What else we got? So we got some Lotuses. We got uh, some Porsches. Hmm. I didn't realize the GT3 RS was considered an extreme track toy. Huh. I thought that might have been actually Super GT. I guess not. Uh, let's see here, though. So that was those ones. So I'm actually leaning towards doing the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Um, let's see. Here we got some race cars, Ferraris. We don't want to do a Ferrari. Uh, the Bentley. Ooh. Could we do the Bentley? Might do the Bentley. And then we got an Ariel Adam B8 500. So we got those ones. I'm thinking Jaguar Project 7. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to make... Which, by the way, why didn't I sell mine? I, I, there, there was an event to get a new one, right? Or, no, maybe I just have an extra. Hold on, we're going to have to check that out, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back over here to the festival site. We're going to make an off-road Project 7. And I'm actually going to go ahead and throw one of mine in the auction house. Because we don't need two. We don't need to, especially considering the fact that I believe that there's a Forzathon event coming up for a Project 7. Or... Did it already happen? I can't remember. We're going to have to check in the auction house. And my god, this car sucks. <laughs> we might have to tune this thing up. Give it all-wheel drive or something like that to make it just better. Because this is also an extreme track toy. And we got to win a race in this. And honestly, I was just sliding everywhere. But in the race that I had chose to do to try and win. Like, I mean, we came so close. We moved it down to average. We are unbeatable in Forza Horizon 3. But no, I had to move it down to average because Extreme Track Toys kind of suck in this game because there's not necessarily have a high top speed, but they're very nimble and very quick. So there were some races in the original Forza Horizon, which was the ones that involved us going up to Red Rock and doing those and basically, okay, I got to turn off my settings or something because that's going to get annoying. I don't like seeing that. Uh, in fact, I thought it was appearing offline. I'm not going to check it right now, but... I, I do want to check this, though. So, Project 7. Okay, stupid controller deciding to lag there. Oh, that that, that, that right there is, like, evidence that my controller is kind of broken. So, it, it just it just don't work. 
just doesn't work all the time. I don't know why. So let's see here. 200. Yeah, it's not worth anything anymore, is it? No. I guess I missed my opportunity to actually go ahead and sell it. And I just clicked the wrong button. Damn it. Damn it. So I'm going to try and stay a little bit, you know, mild-mannered. Because I realized that if I kept going on with the live stream earlier today, I was going to do or say something I really didn't want to do. And to be honest, guys, that is a sign of, like, true maturity. If you guys can realize when you're getting so upset that you need to just stop, take a breather, and think about things, honestly, I would say that you guys are at, like, a really, really good point in your lives. Like, that is something that takes people their entire lives to learn. And it, it's crazy. And honestly, it took me a very long time to learn. I used to do some of this the stupidest shit. I used to get in so much trouble all the time just for doing crappy, stupid stuff that I would never, ever think to actually do. But in, like, my fit of rage, somehow in my mind, I just thought, man, this is, this is bull. I'm going to punch this motherfucker in the face. And I would do it. I would just do it. And it's like, oh, God, that didn't turn out too well. So we're going to use the Horizon Edition, though, for today. And, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Because there was one time on a school bus and I was doing some homework so I had a pencil a tall pencil right and this kid decided he was gonna fucking spit in my hair and I'm like uh uh I ain't putting up with this shit and it wasn't just spit he gleeked in my hair which I don't even know what gleeking really is I can't do it but it's like I guess you like basically get spit to come out through your teeth and it's like really freaking weird and we're, we don't want to listen to him right now but I turned around with that pencil, and I basically was about ready to go ham on him. I was about ready to, like, stab him with this freaking pencil. And then I sort of decided against it, like, last second. And I'm just like, all right, well, but I still got in trouble for it, though. They called the pencil a weapon, yet there was a kid the other day who had cut my hair on that school bus. Not, not the other day now, but, like, the other day, like, six years ago. He cut my hair on the school bus, and he was... Like, they, they didn't do anything to him. They, they just said that kid needed a haircut. And it's like, bullshit. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I don't know. They, they didn't like me at my school. So, here we go, though. Here we go. We need to actually go ahead and tune this son of a gun. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, wait. No, we need upgrades first. We need upgrades first. So, custom upgrade. Let's see what we can do. So, we are going to lift this sucker. Rally suspension. There we go. Roll cage is already in. Uh, it's already lighting. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? So, we need all these parts. So, it does have... It already is 901 after lifting it. And we're going to put rally rally tires on it here, too. And we're also going to convert it to all-wheel drive. So, let's see here. Rally tires. So, it actually just has the stock ones, which are race tires to begin with. Or they're not. What? What? I didn't even notice this, guys. They're not race tires. That's weird. Okay. I thought they like all the Wars editions came stock with uh or not Wars editions. Horizon editions came stock with race tires. That's bizarre. Hold on. Hold on. That that's weird. That is weird. Okay. But what we need to do drivetrain swap to all wheel drive. Uh and we're going to turbo it. Any engines? We already got the max engine. Uh, but what else is there? Or does it already have a bunch of these? It does. It already does. So what will happen, though, if we upgrade our turbo all the way? So that will take us to 967. So what I'm actually thinking is we're going to back out of here. We are going to unturbo it. And we're actually going to take the engine down. So we're actually going to take it to the 5.2 liter. Or we're going to take it down to the stock powertrain. That's a good idea. Stock powertrain, because that way we're not super powerful. And we can throw a little bit of horsepower into this. So right now we're still sitting at 585 horsepower, which still, that, that's a little low for an S1 class. That's a little low, but if we do it as extreme track toys on <laughs> off-road circuit, us being the only all-wheel drive tuned car for off-road, I honestly think that we'll be able to dominate this, and that is what I'm hoping for. So honestly, this is something else that we should be able to do in um, freaking... Forza Motorsport 7 is we should be able to tune our own cars instead of this homologation crap. I'm not a big fan of homologation necessarily. I honestly like the idea of just being able to like quickly, you know, modify your car. And I mean, you can go back and modify your own car, but you are placed with some significant restrictions. 
and I wish that it would basically homologate the drivers to your car. So like if I had like an S2 class, uh, or not S2, like an S class Jeep, I don't know, trail cat, then all the other opponents that I have will be upgraded to an S2 or just an S whatever their car is. Or, and it shouldn't always necessarily be, I mean, there is the open section, but there, there's a bunch of things that I'm like, okay, that need that needs some fixing. This needs this issue. There's this issue. And honestly, Force of Seven is still a great game. Don't get me wrong. There are, there's, there's just things I don't agree with it. So here we go. Uh, oh, man, that Jaguar sounds so good. Why would they upgrade the engine on this thing? It sounds so good as a stock engine. Oh, it sounds sexier than a mug. And it's just, oh, man, it makes me want to. Oh, I I shouldn't go there. I shouldn't go there, guys, but I'm going to go there. Mm. In the words of Kendrick Lamar, I don't know. I probably, no, it doesn't make sense because that's a visual. It, uh, that's visual. That ain't uh, freaking, that ain't about sound. But I was going to say, though, her body got that ass that I really couldn't measure. It made me come fast, but I never get embarrassed. <laughs> I ain't going to be Oh my god, you guys, I'm, I'm doing weird shit now. Alright, so here we go. So it's actually Sport Utility Heroes. No, what we're going to do is we're going to Extreme Track Toy, Off-Road, Route Select, make sure that we don't have too many of them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. So now we're down to three races for this. And honestly, I think that this Jaguar is going to put in the finest of work now. Because earlier, it ain't doing shit. The Extreme Track Toys Championship. These things are missiles with wheels. Yeah, they won't be in this race. <laughs> They're all going to die. And we're going to dominate. And what we need to do, though, is I actually need to turn the driver to our difficulty up. Because I believe I'm still on average. So we would really kick ass. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to put it back on unbeatable. Because we don't need to win the race. We just got to complete it. And that's all that's really important. As well, I do want to say one thing about the Forza 7 ones. Uh, I'm going to make another video on this later. But how I want to do the Forza 7... Uh, videos is I wanted to sort of I'm not gonna necessarily do the open party deal but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut each one of them into their own separate segments because basically two hours is way too long to be doing this force of on deal it, it really is like I mean it, it's too long to be doing a live stream and they're giving us two weeks to do it so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about taking those and separating them out just a little bit so that it's like, okay, well, we got time. We're not going to be really screwing up or anything like that. It's going to work out. So, but here we go. We are starting the race in our rally-tuned Jaguar F-Type or Pace 7. So, there we go. We are getting really good off the line. And now we're off-road. So, I can't wait to see the crashes coming up. Uh, but I'm sure there are some all-wheel drive-tuned versions of these cars out here. So, they may not do the worst. But you saw, oh my god, yeah. KTM Crossbow, get off me. Skillers is honestly, his driver tar is a dick. Like, he was the one driving that BMW X5 earlier. And oh, there's AR12. He can't maintain it with his BAC mono. And we are taking the lead. Mm. We thought this one through, guys. We thought this one through. I didn't think the actual, like, um, the main... Or when I was originally doing it, I did not think it through. But this is definitely, definitely going to pay off. Oh, we might have to, you know, make a rally number 17 Xbox racing car. And just do that as the race. Because doing these rally races, I'm actually not too bad at them. Oh, oh, as I crash. Or I didn't really crash, but I spun just a little bit there. But we still have got a good enough lead that it don't really matter. So there we go. Oh my god, they're really sucking back there. Oh, I didn't know which way to go. I saw these flags over here and I just sort of ignored them. But here we go. Ooh, get good, my son. But I think the main reason why I was losing so badly earlier today is because Extreme Track Toys ain't all that great when it comes to just racing in Forza Horizon 3. They're really good, say, against other extreme track toy cars or against any other car that is made to be slow but steady where horizon 3 a lot of the best cars and a lot of the best things are extremely fast high powered and i was sort of talking about this earlier but like some of the best cars in the game 
uh, like, you know, at C-Class, they've got, like, 600 horsepower. Like, I mean, that was one thing that you would notice all the time is that the cars that are winning, like, the driving cars that are always winning are the ones that have just all power and no, no, nothing else done to them. It, it, that's all it is. Uh, for example, the Holden Sandman van was always one of the best cars because essentially how Horizon Drivatars work, I noticed, is that they're given a crap ton of horsepower and then the computer actually handles the car to its maximum, so there's no human issues going on. But we do pull off a victory at a 218.05. Not too shabby, not too shabby. That leads us into first place into this championship, and I am not too mad. Mmm. <clears throat> This lifted Jaguar, put it in the work. That is all it's doing. It is putting it in the work. This is an off-road vehicle now. And basically, I, I want to make a paint job for this and call it the off-road Jag. And I'm hoping to see, honestly, I really want to see in Forza Motorsport 7 some dirt tracks. Like, I mean, I know Forza 7 is, you know, a racing game and it's all about that. But honestly, every single one of its competitors now has dirt tracks. Just look at Gran Turismo Sport. Dirt tracks. And I'm pretty sure Project Cars 2 has dirt tracks now as well. I'm not entirely certain about that. You know what? I can Google that right now. We're going to Google that. Um, so Project Cars 2 dirt track. I mean, I wouldn't even be mad if they, you know, just went ahead and... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be mad if they just kind of went ahead and were like, Okay, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to just... Create an open dirt track, kind of like the airport. We're going to put some bumps in it, and that's going to be a new virus map or something. I honestly think that would be even cooler than bringing in a real dirt track. And yes, I do think Project Cars 2, because there was like a gameplay comparison between that and Dirt Rally uh, for off-road racing. And I didn't actually watch the video, but I'm just going to go with it. So, but yeah, honestly, if they did like, a, like another airport and just added like bumps and maybe like obstacles and cool stuff like that i honestly think that would be so cool because it would just create a new virus map or a new one of their game maps because they've added virus but i haven't seen pass it or keep the it or any of those other ones yet so i'm curious to see how those work out i want to make sure my difficulty still on unbeatable yes it is all right here we go jaguar put in the work we're starting off course uh they all get to start on course though and this is a lapped off-road race Ooh. Oh, man, dude, he just crashed. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Third place just did a flip. And there's Skillers in his KTM crossbow. I bet he's going to try and push us a little bit. Oh, we're spinning a little bit. Ooh, these jumps are not that great for the Jag. And look at Skillers. Oh, never mind. Skillers screwing right up there. Like, he, his drive guitar has always just been a dick to me. Like, man, it's it's targeting. It, it, it's crazy how much that thing targets me. I don't even get it. Like, I, I mean, I've t he's been in some of, like, our uh, events and all that sort of stuff. But, like, I haven't seen Skillers in a long, long time. And yet his drive guitar is always the epitome of just asshole. I'm sorry. It just always is. He always picks, like, Ram Runners and all that sort of stuff. And he's just like, oh, my God. He, he's like M. Rossi. Really, really good, but also, like, likes to shove you around, push you around, and be like, huh, I'm your high school bully, man. Eat this white dog poop. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section, though, if you guys get that reference to the white dog poop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lick the dog poop! That movie, though, is so good. I already told you guys it's a movie, so half of you guys are probably thinking, oh, God, what movie had White Dog Poop in it? Oh, man. Oh, God. I it just... You guys know this movie. I guarantee you guys know this movie. It was a very good comedy. Or, well, not very good comedy. It, it, it made me chuckle because it, it, it's kind of potty humor. Like, I, I, I like potty humor. I'll be straight up honest with that. Because when I don't got to think about it, honestly, makes sometimes the jokes a lot more funny than they uh, than they really are. There's some like potty humor, or, like just bad humor that I just don't get. And I got a couple friends who seem to like get it, and it's just it's usually like so bad it's like minions or something like that. Okay, I don't get minions. I mean, I find them like adorable, 
and the movie can have its moments, but I'm laughing at different moments than what some of my friends are laughing at. They're they're like laughing at like I'm going like, <laughs> and I, I I just I don't get that one, but like Crunk in the window or that's not his name. His name's not Crunk. Gru, Gru in the like what was it? Was it the second one or something? And basically uh, he's. Oh, no, no, it's not the second one, is it? Oh, God, I can't even remember anymore. But basically, he's, like, tied up or something like that, and he's just in his underwear, and he's like, Happy birthday to you! <laughs> just That was good. That was hilarious, because I can honestly see someone just having such a terrible day that that's how it ends. Like, they are just dangling from scaffolding, Going past somebody having a birthday, and I, honestly, that just that just cracks me up because I can see that happening. I can see that happening. Somebody accidentally getting like stripped down while they're like trying to clean windows, and then all of a sudden like losing their balance, and now they're just hanging out in front of a window, and it, it's just oh my god, oh my god, like that would be like my worst nightmare. Honestly, that would be that would be terrible. Like a nightmare that I've had before. Holy crap, we did not do all that good. That Ford Falcon though. Pulling in a 105, and we're only successfully pulling in a 109. Oh man, he just—they just weren't consistent with it. They just weren't consistent with it. My dudes, come on. So there we go. That is 40 points right there. But like, a, a fear that I have is that I'm going to die, and then somebody is going to find my body naked. Just think about that for a second, because th there's one thing that some people have always said, and I'm, I'm going to get a little dark here for a second. But the worst part about dying is knowing that somebody is going to find your body. That is, that's kind of, that's that's a scary thought to me. Like, I'm, I'm one of these days I'm going to be like 95 years old. I'm just going to kick the bucket. And then somebody has to find me. That, I, I feel bad for that person. That is scarring. And just, it's going to happen. And he's like, man, that really, really sucks. And... The worst thing that I can imagine, though, is that they're going to find my body naked. Like, that, that, like, if I, like, take a shower or something like that, or, like, I'm taking a bath, and all of a sudden I just, like, die of a heart attack, and it's like, well, I died naked, and now somebody's going to find my dead, naked body. Yeah. So the last image that they're going to have is basically a, a, a very visual of my dick. Just, that, that just, it, no, like, it's just like, come on, come on, that is just bad, like, I don't, I really, I, that, 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 that would suck, like, the last image of your loved one is just a visual image of them being dead and naked, like, that just, no, no, oh, all right, but anyway, though, let's actually get back here into this race, oh, God, AR-12 flipping, and we land on him, and actually held him out, Holy crap, that was actually pretty nice landing there. All right, so this is going to be our last race of the championship, and honestly, we are kicking some butt. Because when you try and put rear-wheel drive fast cars that are made for tracks on the dirt, things just don't work out like they wanted to. So here we go. Could you imagine, though, trying to drive an Ariel Adam V8 on freaking through the jungle? Try driving an Ariel Adam V8 through the jungle. People have trouble driving it on an actual track, let alone on a dirt track, or like even like just over some stuff. Like I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy because honestly, didn't they on a uh, Top Gear try and drive the Aerial Adam V8 and they thought, well, you know, it was already fast enough before, and only a crazy person would think, man, you know what my Aerial Adam is missing? more power and <laughs> just oh my god yeah and that that car they, they they spun it several times i think in the episode where they were reviewing it all right here we go so we're on to lap number two we are bouncing around though like a kangaroo hopefully we get some kangaroo points because we ain't no kangaroo jack that's for sure oh that that's such an old movie like i can't oh my god i need to watch that again i need to watch kangaroo jack if you guys have never seen Kangaroo Jack, I highly recommend it. Oh my god, uh, who was in it? There's like a funny black actor, I can't even remember. 
I was not really like into actors or actresses at all. Like I didn't know anybody's names. Like the the people that I knew is I knew like Britney Spears and Jamie Lynn Spears. And the only reason I knew Jamie Lynn Spears is because there she had that one show on TV about going to a boarding high school. Which honestly, that that would that's a bad situation. Like honestly, boarding school, high school, like ugh. You thought college was like uh like. I, I could just see getting like hormonal teenagers into a same spot where essentially all they got to do is really sneak across the campus and boom they're in like some someone's dorm room and it's like yeah that'll work out great mm -hmm. I honestly I, I thought that would actually be kind of a cool idea like you know hey I, I could go to uh, high school boarding school that'd be that'd be very interesting to see how that would work out and <laughs> no way in hell would I do that now I lived in, I didn't live in dorms when I was in college because luckily I lived close enough. Now, I would never go choose to live in the dorms. Like, if someone was like, hey, we'll let you live here for the same cost that you're paying right now to live by yourself and you can live in a dorm room. No. But when I was a freshman in high school, yeah, sure, yeah, or not high school, college, I, I, I actually kind of wanted to live in the dorms because that's how people make friends in college. If you guys get the opportunity to go live in the dorms, by all means, do so. But if you also get the opportunity to, you know, sort of live at home, save some money, it's really going to be a cost-benefit analysis for you guys because, like, honestly, I honestly think having a year in the dorms would have been more beneficial for me. But I live so close, I just couldn't justify the cost because it is so expensive. But if you can somehow pull off a scholarship for it, do it. Absolutely do it. That is all. That is my number one recommendation because it, it, it's... Shitty, horrible living, but I mean, you're living shitty and horribly with somebody else. So, you kind of get to share an experience. Now, some people are going to have bad roommates, and that can ruin it all. But if you're in the dorm, you don't have to spend time with your roommate just because you share the same room. Because what you can do is you can just basically be like, I'm going to go down the hall and hang out with the cool person, uh, and you can stay here. I'm going to go out there. So, because I didn't stay in the dorms. And I didn't really hang out at the dorms because, well, I mean, I had to for like an hour a week because uh, of this weird program I was in. It was called Scholars, and they basically, because I was one of the, I was the only one out of the entire program. And they had like 40 students per program, and I think there were like 40 programs. So there's like 1,600 students doing this deal. And I was like the only one who was not staying in the dorms. And they said, well, okay, you live close enough. We're going to give you a pass on that, even though it's really supposed to be this deal. And your only requirement is that you're going to have to go ahead, stay in, like, the lobby of the dorms for, like, a couple hours. Try and, you know, talk with people who come through because they're the people who you're supposed to get to know for this, like, deal that you're working on. And it's like, okay, yeah, that sounds, that sounds fine. And I'd do it. And honestly, I met some cool people doing that. Like, in fact, probably one of my best friends is, that's how I met her. Or, well, actually... I met her in our organic chemistry class, and that class was a nightmare. If you guys don't have to take OCHEM, don't take OCHEM. I didn't have to take OCHEM, and I'm like, I'm going to challenge myself. It's a recommended class. That was the worst class I ever took. I only got two C's in college. I got one in OCHEM, and I got one in another class that I can't tell you because that has to do with my major. And that would basically tell you guys what my job was. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. So, we did go ahead, finish up that race, which means that we're kind of right on track onto where I sort of, like, gave up last time. And what I want to do is I kind of want to go make a number 17 Xbox racing car for a rally car. You guys get the drift there? All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to fast travel back over here to the uh, Surface Paradise Horizon Festival Grab our number 17 Xbox that we won, or won, I know you guys can't see it, but I'm putting up air quotes, because we didn't just win it, we won it like several hours ago, because it's 10 o'clock now, and I think I started the live stream originally at 5 o'clock, and I'm like, alright, if I keep going on this, I'm going to get so mad, so mad, and so I'm just, because I, maybe I'll show you guys what I was talking about, maybe we'll do two races, and we'll do the one that I originally was planning on doing, and then we'll do the one that we're actually going to do. So, or maybe I'll just talk about that, what happened. I don't know. It was bad. It was bad. 
All right, so here we go, though. We're going to go ahead and grab our forward. Highly recommend it, though. Do not set it to anything goes because, basically, that's going to suck. You are going to lose. You are going to die because there's going to be some jack wagon in a BMW X5 who's going to constantly hit you. And that's, that's no fun. No fun at all. Nope, sorry, wrong button there. So upgrades, custom upgrades. What we need is we need a all-wheel drive conversion. Thank you. All right, and then what we need is we're going to need... Wait a second, hold on. So we can't put rally suspension on this? No! Ugh. That sucks. That sucks quite a bit. I was hoping to put some rally suspension on it. Uh, and it doesn't look like we get to do that. So let's see here. We want some wider tires. Oh, my tires weren't as wide as I was hoping for. I was hoping for wider tires at the start. And we're going to go ahead and give ourselves more power. We're all wheel drive now. Screw it. Right. All right. Here we go. So this is max upgraded. All right. We've got our tires. We got everything else going for us. Now, what I want to do, though, is, yes, install the setup. Why we credit? So, we're not going to have rally suspension, but what I want to do is I want to lift the, lift the car. And I want to make things a little bit softer because that's rally suspension, essentially. So, here we go. We are going to go here into tuning. We're going to go here to alignment. We're going to, oh, wow, we had a lot of negative camber. Why does it always do this? Like, it always gives you negative camber. I don't get that. Because when I associate what I associate with negative camber is I associate drifting and spinning. It's just no. Why are you doing that? All right, so we're gonna go up here to 6.3 inches. We're gonna lift it all the way up. So we're gonna basically make it just a little bit softer. Uh, there we go. Soften up the rear, and we are going to soften up this, and we're gonna go off road on this. All right, we do have another version. So what I think I will do with that is the other version, I will do that other race just to sort of show you guys why I was, like, so mad. So another thing, though, that I find kind of weird is this. So sometimes the rear and the front on the braking force, they will flip-flop on each other. Don't know why, they just do. On some cars, it's different. It, it, it's bizarre to me. It's bizarre. So we're going to yep, keep it on the back rear a little bit. There we go. And that should be good. Hopefully, this is now a rally-ish uh, Xbox One X Ford Falcon racing car. <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this to routes again. Uh, we are going to choose one that is just off-road. Yeah, let's go here. No, no. I'm not, I'm not thinking there. I don't, I don't like the shipwreck area. So, here we go. We'll go to this one over here. And look at that. Number of races, 643. Time spent in first is 35 hours. Oh, my dude. Total ultimate skills, almost 10,000. Guys, this game is ridiculous. I've spent way too much time in this game. And the thing is, I was talking with somebody else the other day, and they've got, like, three or four times as much time in Forza Horizon 3 than I do. Oh, my. Holy crap. That's a lot of time. So we're going to go back here to Extreme Track Toys. We're going to create the blueprint here. Oh, wait, no. we're on. I clicked on Championship. We want to do an exhibition. We ain't going through no championship. That's bold. Why would, why would we do that? Why are we going to waste another championship on this? Uh, and especially make it like an Extreme Track Toys one? Like, what? So here we go, though. Extreme Track Toys. Or did I hit anything goes? Oh, God. I don't know what I actually hit. I don't know what I actually hit. Because we're on race tires. Like, those things are slicks. Oh, crap. We might suck at this if I just hit anything goes. Um, I did hit anything goes. We'll try it. We'll try it. And then we'll back out if we lose. Uh, we're going to keep it on unbeatable. Because we are lifted. We are all-wheel drive now. Uh, we got our... Uh, what is it? We got rewind on. So, worst comes to worst, we can just go ahead and rewind. Air 12 Nick already causing us an accident. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, that's exactly the opportunity that we need to use a rewind. <laughs> but the thing is, though, is we can't rewind much farther than that. And yeah, we just. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's not off to a good start whatsoever. Like, oh my god, that is a bad, bad start. All right, here we go. We're going to start this race up again. Let's do it. Take him on the outside. There's Air 12 Nick making his move like he did last time. Woo. Oh, controller batteries are low. Not good. No, stop it. Look at that. He just literally like just decided I'm going to drive under Gur. I'm going to get him flipped. And now we now we have to resume from here. No, come on. What are you doing, my dudes? Oh god. And I know, like, someone's going to be out there like, Gur, why do you keep restarting? Hey, you're just losing right now. You don't need to. Yes, I do, because it's going to take me forever to freaking catch back up again, because we got race tires off-road. Which, actually, somebody did an investigation into this back in, I think it was the original Horizon. And, basically, they found that race tires were actually the best thing off-road. Don't know how that happens, but it, it just happened to be that way. So hopefully we don't land on anybody this time, because that seems to be all we keep doing. We keep on landing on people and making good content, but oh my god, no. This time we're just going to flip a bunch of times. Like, what is causing my car to flip like that? It's like every single time I try and go through there, it's just, no, we're going to flip. We're going to have a good time flipping. Flipping some hatties, slipping some hamburgers, doo 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 doo, catching up fast. All right, we're, we're just going to do this one because our flip wasn't too bad. We're already caught up back to 11th or so, and we're going to pass a big group of people moving into 6th place. Hot, hot damn. And there's that Dragon Storm guy. He just kept on molly whopping us there at the beginning. Like, he, he would always, he was that guy that kept cutting us off right there at the start. He got a 4 GT. Oh, get that, get that checkpoint. Oh, God, no. What are you doing? What is that? Is that what is this? What is your at? What is your problem, man? <laughs> Just oh hey, here here's Gerd. Let's let's hit him in the butt. Oh wait, that's the same guy. No, it was a different guy. Okay, so we're still in sixth place though, at, even after that fiasco. So our suspension, though, I think is still a little bit too tight to be off-roading. As we are just getting pushed around like a like a dummy bag. Like, what is going on? Why do you keep on flipping me, dude? I'm just racing. It's like one of these cars. Anytime we hit another car, we are automatically getting flipped. Oh, that actually worked out, though, in our favor that time. Landing on somebody that actually sent us skyrocketing forward. Right now, we are sitting in third place. And I can see second and first on the minimap, but they are pretty far up ahead. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Seriously? Seriously, my dude? See, like, on a, on a rally car, that, that doesn't really happen. I mean, it does happen, but it doesn't happen nearly as frequently. On, say, a Ford Falcon racing car. On a track car. Something called an extreme track toy. Like, I mean, this, this is not a great situation for this car. There's that Corvette again. He's on our buttholes. Come on, man. Come on. Catch up here in a second. Catch up here. Get second or first. And I'll be happy. I'll be happy with you if you can get second or first. Actually, I want you to get first. Oh my god, yeah, the suspension is definitely still too strong. Because we're still hitting some bumps and it's still flying us everywhere. Oh my god, yeah, see? It's, it's just... Oh, it's not working. It's not working. I, I feel like maybe if we were to cut back on our, like level again we might be able to do well but so here we go we're, we're gonna have to drop back on our drive to our difficulty and there we go we're flying again oh my god this is exactly what was getting me mad in the first place it's just this car this car sucks all right on anything other than 
extreme track toys, this car just really is an abomination. Where, at least with that Jaguar, you can race it against other things besides just extreme track toys. Because I've actually had that Jaguar before do fairly well in some other series. Because I don't think it's necessarily always an extreme track toy, or hasn't always been. Because I remember doing, like, one race before, and it was actually, like, keeping up with my Bentley Continental off-road. So that's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah, we missed the checkpoint. Oh, we missed the checkpoint. Come on, race tires. Do your thing. Get some grip. Except, fi find all the little rocks. Find all the little rocks and do your thing. Do your thing, man. Oh, God. Yeah, that was bad. That's bad. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe if we did this with Extreme Track Toys, we we'll win it. We'll have to do it with Extreme Track Toys to win it, I think. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is a bad situation here. Mmm, that's that that was not the situation I was hoping for. So we're definitely gonna have to back out, do it on extreme track toys, because look at that. 102 in a Chrysler 300 and then the Hoonicorn. Both of which are all-wheel drives. Now the Hoonicorn, I'm really surprised to see. Because someone was telling me earlier, use the Hoonicorn. And I'm like, I don't want to use the Hoonicorn. It's, it's a Hoonicorn. But nope. Uh, so we get some money. We get some credits and XP, whatever. We're going to have to redo this race on just Extreme Track Toys. Because that's what this car is built for. This car is built to basically win against Extreme Track Toys. And that's about it. So Exhibition. Yeah, right there. That's exactly what I clicked on. I needed to click on Extreme Track Toys. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do so. Extreme Track Toys. Have a fun time with it. Create Blueprint. Yes. Overwrite it. And take our Xbox Ford Falcon Racing Car. Which, that is a handful. I'm just going to call the number 17 Xbox Car. That, that, that's all it is from now on. Number 17 Xbox Car. Win this race and get 90,000 credits because, my God... We've done more races to get 90,000 credits than we have to actually, than what we did, because we've already made 90,000 credits. Huh. And honestly, the topping on the, the icing on the cake from earlier today, why I was getting all so mad, I'm like, let me guess. Forza, I just leveled up, and I'm like, let me guess, I'm going to get two freaking grand. And what did I get? I got two freaking grand. And I'm just like, all right, I'm done. Guys, this is the end of the live stream. If you guys want to, just, yeah. Just, just. Just go away. <laughs> I didn't actually say just go away. I like I ended it properly and all that, and it's just man, it 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 was a it was a disaster zone there. Oh, you guys see that Sesto? Holy crap! Holy crap! That was nice. Did a full barrel roll in midair. That was nice. And we're getting really again with the freaking turning and the landings. and Like, I mean, we're going off fairly straight and then the car just decides we're going to turn right here. And then Thermic Flower in his KTM crossbow just starts pushing us. And so we can't turn. So there we go, though. That's, that's, how, that's how this thing starts out. That's how it always starts out. Is that a 599 XX right there? Oh my god. That thing's definitely out of its element. Oh, we're drifting a little. We're drifting a little. Skillers crashing. Thank you, Skillers, for crashing. Florida State! No, get off me! Why is that guy's name FSU Gators? They're, they are rivals. That'd be like having a gamer tag called uh, OSU Wolverines. I'm <laughs> just, just saying there. Okay, this is fun. Not really. Oh, my God. What is up with this? What is up with this? Come on, man. Come on. That Sesto Elemento, though, is up there doing the work. Maybe that's what we should have... Oh, wait. No, we got to use the Ford Falcon. That's why we made it a rally car in the first place. Okay, so that other Falcon got stopped. Oh my god, suspension work! 
You're going up against other track toys, and I've given you softer suspension. I've raised you and gave you all-wheel drive. The best you can do is at least beat this freaking Sesto. And where's first place is so far up ahead. How? What is he in? So there we go. We did pass the Sesto. Now we're into second place. Oh, God. That was a bad... Oh. Stop bouncing so much, my god. Like, th th this is, oh my god. We're trying to win a race by being cheeky, and we can't even do that. And I thought, oh wait, you know what I was going to do? I was going to turn it down on difficulty. We can't even land a jump. God, what is this car good for? This car is good for nothing. There are so many other cars that just do its job better. Oh god, V8 supercars, man. I used to, like, think V8 supercars, man, those things are good. You know, and then I realized that they are all exactly Fords or Holdens. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, never mind. I don't like V8 supercars anymore. Or Ultimas, because I guess Ultima is in it now, or Nissan's in it. But it's like all the cars look exactly the same. I, I just... I don't know, I don't like V8 supercar anymore. And th this car is just, it it's not good for anything. See, like, right there, it's like, oh my god, dude, come on. I'm giving you, a I'm giving you everything I can give you, and you're still losing. The only thing I didn't give you is a track. <laughs> Because, honestly, if I put you on a track, you'd still lose. This car is booty. All I can say is that this car is booty. And we need first place to really, like, screw up or something. Because, for some reason, that car is just way up there in front now. Like, what is it in? It, did it, like, somehow find the ultimate car of destiny or something? Like, the ultimate rally extreme track toy? Like, I, I don't even know. It's like a lifted Ariel Atom or something, or like a rally-tuned Ariel Atom. Which would be the Ariel Nomad, but the Ariel Nomad's not an extreme track toy. Oh my god, this is honestly... Honestly, I thought I was going to come in here and this would just be a real quick deal. I guess not. Because I guess we're going to have to do this race yet again! Oh my god. This is like my sixth time racing in this car, and every single time I do so, I hate it even more. Like, honestly, at the end of this, I'm just going to get rid of this thing. I'm going to remove it from my garage, because it cannot win a single race. I was racing on average and lost with this deal. How? And there we go again, just crashing everywhere. All right, one last time. That's all I'm doing. Because otherwise, it's 90,000 credits. It's not worth it. 58 seconds. It's a Hoonicorn. How is the Hoonicorn doing so good? You know what it is, guys? It's the power. That's exactly what it is. It's all power. Because the computer is basically handling all the handling physics now. And since the Hoonicorn is all-wheel drive and has a crap ton of horsepower, that's why it's winning every race. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. That's exactly why. All right. Extreme Track Toys. And now we are going to move it down to average because, my God, he cannot win a single stupid race. Not one race. This car is garbage. Hot trash. I thought, you know, we're giving it an unfair advantage. By basically setting it all to extreme track toys and going off-road and giving us all-wheel drive and race suspension and all that sort of stuff. But no. No, it can't even do that. All right. Average difficulty. Because I hate it. All right. Here we go. Hopefully, it can win this. If it doesn't win this, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. And there we go, flipping again. 
So we're back into 10th place. Because that's all this car is good for is flipping and being trash. Oh my god, this car is garbage. Hot garbage. Hot, hot garbage. It is hotter garbage than garbage that is about ready to go into an incinerator. It is hotter than the garbage in the incinerator. This thing belongs in the incinerator. In a bigger incinerator. I really hate this car, guys. I've driven this car way too much for today. And it's just... It's annoying. Is all I can say about it. It's like, I just don't want to... I just don't want to see this car again. I just want it to die. I want to end its life. By removing it from the entire game. I'll keep the one that I already have. But this one is going into the trash. It, it just is. It doesn't deserve to live. It can't win me a single race. One race. Of three laps. It cannot win me. There we go. We're off track now. And there's the Hoonicorn again. We're at least closer this time to first. But honestly, by now we should be in first. And... Nope. Besides, it wants to be trash again. Oh! My God! Just work! Work, you silly bitch! Work! <laughs> work, 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 work. Oh my god, this thing is a silly bitch. That's, that's all it is. Alright, that time we landed it. Passing the Sesto. And we know that we can get past in... the. We know we can pass the Hoonicorn. Oh no! Stop! Stop it! What are you doing? Why are you so garbage? You are a garbage car! Stop it! That's all I can say. Why is this car such garbage? And there goes the Hoonicorn speeding off like always because it's super high horsepower. But the thing is, though, is now that I'm set on average, it has a maximum top speed now, so... <laughs> Alright, we're still... We're, we got time. But if we don't win this, I'm honestly... I'm, I'm just... This is the reason why we quit last time, is because this car can't do nothing. Go! Oh my god, and someone's just gonna be like, Girls, you're just a drag driver. And it's like, yeah, I'm a bad driver. I'll admit it. If this car will actually pull off a victory, I'll admit it. And it just does shit like this. Like, I mean, it's not even like that I'm really all that bad. It's just that this car is so bad. Give me, give me a Jeep. Or give me my freaking, like, Jaguar from earlier. I will dominate this. But this Xbox Ford Falcon racing car is garbage. And someone's probably like, girl, you should just throw it on the street. I did it on the street. <laughs> That's why we're doing it off-road now. <laughs> because I thought maybe you can handle this. And it can't. Because it's hot garbage. And there we go again. We're just It just doesn't want to stay straight. Stay straight. That's all you got to do is just stay straight. Don't jump. Don't bounce. Don't do jack shit. Just, just do, do, do your job. There you go. That's all you had to do. And honestly, I wouldn't yell at you so much. All right. I, 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 I hate you. You know that. And honestly, you, you, you're the one bringing this upon yourself. We're on average. You should not be losing. We could probably bring out an Ariel Adam V8 rear wheel drive and win this race. Just not with you, because you're that bad. It just is. It just is. Oh. Oh, we're fine. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, come on. Hornicorn, move out of the way. Let me pass you. Thank you. Oh, my God. All the rewinding. All of the failed attempts. And this car has finally, finally done something worthy of being called a race car. 
as it actually has won a race. Just barely, on average. Like I said earlier, hot trash. <laughs> oh my god, we finally pulled off a victory. We finally get the achievement, victory podium. Just, just no. I don't even want the credits, I don't even need the credits. It's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating that this car cannot do anything. Nope, and you know what I'm going to do right now? Right now. Hold on, what, what's our last four stars? We don't need this car for anything else, do we? Get three stars. Nope, we don't need this any, anymore. What I'm going to do right now is we are going to end it. We're going to end its life because it, it, it deserves to go. It has brought me nothing but pain. Nothing but pain. We're an hour into this. All because of this stupid car not being able to work. An hour. If this car would work, we'd been done so long ago. But this car is so aggravatingly terrible. I'm going to get rid of mine in Motorsport 7. It's that bad. It is just so, so terrible. There's a reason why this car does not sell for any money at all in the auction house. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our Aerial Atom. So there's our Aerial Atom right there. Get in. All right. Because now all we got to do is go get three stars on the Surfer's Bridge speed zone. And then what we need to do is we need to go over here to Ford. Do, 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 do. Ford, where are you? Here it is. Here's Ford. And this is the one that we were using, right? Yeah, 951 all-wheel drive. Remove car from garage. Bye. It's gone forever. It's gone forever. It was that... It was that bad. We made more money trying to drive that son of a gun than we did actually completing the championship. Or than we would have just selling it. Just, oh my god, it was that, it was just so bad. So, was it, oh no, okay, no, it's not a speed zone, it's a speed trap. And it's Surfer's Bridge right here, right? Surfer's Bridge speed trap. Alright, we're going to fast travel over to here. Hopefully, get this thing done in a heartbeat because all we need to do is I think we just need to hit 150 miles per hour I think that's all we got to do is hit 150 and we'll be done so does it have us going the right direction probably not oh it does that's that's beneficial oh listen to that V8 though all right we've reached 160 170 All right, this is an easy task right there. 164.13. That should be three stars right there. We should get our achievement here right now. There it is. That is the end of the fours lawn. Enhanced. Get three stars on the surface bridge. Speed trap in the aerial atom. V8. Oh, finally it is over. It is over, guys. It is finally, finally over. Now what we do have, though, is we do have a couple of wheel spins from our victories. We got three wheel spins to go. Let's see what we can get. Lamborghini Alpa, can we pick up something nice like 75,000 credits or the Lamborghini itself? And no, Forza is just screwing with me today. 2,000 and 5,000 in a row. Next up, what we have is we have a Lexus LFA. Give me this. I will take it. I will keep it. We just got rid of a crappy Ford. Just, nope. I guess it didn't want me to have it. Instead, it's going to give me 90,000. Then finally, we have a Noble M600, which, eh, I'll probably take it. I might. I might. But instead, we get a Ford SVT Raptor, which, God, already have so many of these. I don't know what to do with them all. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and sell that because it it's worth nothing to me anymore. It's worth nothing to me anymore because, basically, so many Raptors now, it, it, it's just crazy. It is just crazy. But anyway, though, that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash square 413 and instagram.com forward slash square 413. And as well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to smash that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.